Many thanks for staying with us on the newsroom. The presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Bola Tinubu, has said that in selecting Senator Kashim Shetima as his running mate, he committed himself to a pragmatic approach to leadership. At the unveiling of his running mate on Wednesday, Tinubu stated that politics ends where leadership begins and as such, true leadership must not be shrouded in religion. According to the former Lagos State Governor, Governor Nigeria is in dire need of quality leadership at this moment in history and Peking Shetima was the best choice for a vice president. The Nigeria Labour Congress NLC has rejected the two-week ultimatum given to the Minister of Education Adamu Adamu by President Muhammadu Buhari to end the lingering strike action by the Academic Staff Union of Universities ASU. According to reports, the NLC stressed that it will not back down from its planned two-day nationwide protest scheduled for July 26 and 27, adding that the government can settle ASU's demand in two days. No fewer than 40 unions, including the aviation workers, will participate in the rally called in solidarity with ASU, which has shut down public universities since February 14 over the failure of the government to meet its demands. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, have rejected proposals in the ongoing amendment of administration of Criminal Justice Act to submit a case file of a matter to the Attorney General of the Federation and exposing whistleblowers. Chairman of the EFCC, Abdul Rashid Bawa, kicked against the provision in the bill while appearing before the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, chaired by Senator Opayemi Bamidele during a public hearing on the bill to amend the Administration of Criminal Justice Act and six other bills. The anti-graft agencies also kicked against provision for the freezing of accounts under investigation for a period of 14 days by ex parte order, saying that the section is unnecessary as it would impede the activities of the investigation agencies and freezing of accounts containing proceeds of crime. In COVID updates, the BA5 subvariant of the Omicron continues to dominate the summer wave of COVID-19 in the United States, making up nearly 80% of new cases, according to the Centers for Disease Control. Now cast model. Data from John Hopkins University shows 29 states reported more cases than the week before, while 20 states had more deaths than a week earlier. Meanwhile, according to Health and Human Services data, hospitals in 35 states reported more COVID-19 patients, while hospitals in 25 states had more patients in intensive care beds. Bakers under the aegis of the Premium Bread Makers Association of Nigeria have announced plans to halt production of their products effective Thursday. According to a statement signed by the president of the association, Emmanuel Onwara, operating a bakery in Nigeria has become almost impossible given the incessant increases in the prices of baking materials and diesel which have affected the industry negatively. Onwara said that bakeries were running in losses and the situation was no longer sustainable. He added that the withdrawal of service is the only way the association believes can get the attention of the federal government and Nigerians to their plight. On the foreign scene, the Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi has handed in his resignation on Thursday after his unity government fell apart, plunging the country into political turmoil and hitting financial markets. According to political sources, Draghi will remain in a caretaker capacity to handle current business. Italy's coalition crumbled on Wednesday when three of Draghi's main partners ignored a confidence vote he called to try to end divisions and renew their fractious alliance. Meanwhile, Draghi has informed lawmakers that he saw no possibility of continuing to govern after failing to receive broad backing in a Senate confidence vote on Wednesday. Rangers defender Calvin Bassi has joined Ajax in a record 22.6 million euro sale for the Saint Premiership Club. Premiership club. Bassi will wear the number 33 in Amsterdam after agreeing the deal, which could fetch upwards of 26.5 million euros, with an initial 23 million euros fee was agreed. Bassi, who joined Rangers from Leicester in return for a training compensation fee during the summer of 2020, won the league title and the Scottish Cup and also played a part in last season's run to the Europa League final. That's the latest on the newsroom. We'll bring you more updates in the next hour. I'm Simisala Adiko.